how to record, edit, and export audio in Adobe Audition CC, a beginner's tutorial today. Let's get started. What's up guys, David here, and we're doing a super quick tutorial, and it's a very basic, simple beginner's tutorial on how to record audio, edit that audio, then export that audio in Adobe Audition CC. Let's jump right in. First things first, I've got my Adobe Audition pulled up here. I'm gonna create a new multi-track session by going to File, Selecting New, and Multi-Track Session. I'm gonna just label this, Record, Edit, Export. I'm going to keep it there. That's fine. We'll do 44.1 on my sample rate, 32 for my bit depth, and I'm going to do a mono file today. Let's get started with our simple record, edit, export tutorial. So first thing I need to do is I'm going to arm a track to record. So to start recording, after I've armed a track, I'm going to hit shift and spacebar. So as you can see, it's picking up my dialogue. Anything I say is going to be picked up nice and clean in Adobe Audition through the multi-track setting that I have established on track number one. Spacebar stops that recording. For fine-tuning some of your edits, if you double-click the file, it brings it up in waveform view. You can see that in the top left here. I can toggle back and forth between waveform and multi-track. And now I am in the file that we just created. Let's check it out. So as you can see, it's picking up my... And there's my audio that's been recorded. So now let's say I want to edit this and I like the way it sounds right here. I'm going to cut off the front. I'm going to highlight that. If I hit delete, it'll go away. And if I want to do that to the end, I highlight that, hit delete. So let's say this isn't loud enough for me. And now I want to increase the volume. There's all kinds of different ways I can do that. Uh, the easiest way, the quickest way is usually this icon right here. This is just an overall volume meter and I can drag it to the left. It'll go down. If I drag it to the right, it'll go up. Or if you'd like, I can click in that box right there and I can put in two and it'll raise it by two decibels. I can put in negative nine and it will lower it by nine decibels. I can just also grab this little dial pull it up to what I want it to be here. Let's increase the volume, hear what that sounds like now. So as you can see, it's picking up my dialogue. Anything I say is going to be picked up nice and clean in Adobe Audition. So it's picked up pretty well here, and I can hit spacebar to make that play. Through the multi spacebar plays back. So now I've got my file recorded. I've got it edited. I clipped off the front and the end of what I want to use here. I can do finer editing too. I can highlight some of this stuff and delete it the same way. Now this is my final project. I can right click this. Go to Insert into Multitrack. Record, Edit, Export is where I want to go. That's my multi-track session I've created. Now it brings up this edited view of that file. There's the original one. I can just click that, delete that file. And here is my complete edited piece of audio. See, it's picking up my dialogue. Anything I say is going to be through the multi-track setting. It's got our cut in there and it's got the volume added in there. So everything is working nicely. So now let me export this. There's a few ways to do this. One, I can highlight through here, right click. Don't even have to select the whole thing. Go to export mix down. I can click selected clips. That'll bring up my export window. I can also highlight the entire file, right click, export mix down, time selection, and it will do just this avenue where it is highlighted. So anything down here, if we recorded in other tracks, that would get exported as well. That brings up my export window. Or I can right click, export mix down, and just do the entire session. So that would pick up anything within this multi-track session. So after that, it brings up my export window. Now I can label this whatever I'd like, Record, edit, export file. And let's save this to my desktop. An MP3 is just fine. I'm going to hit OK. So then if I jump on my desktop, there's our file that we recorded, edited, and exported. Let's listen to it. So as you can see, it's picking up my dialogue. Anything I say is going to be through the multi-track setting that I have established on track number one. So it worked really well, and it's an MP3 format, and it was so super simple. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or call, text, email. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.